on the review there at the end? Did you have a chance? I thought it was ridiculous. We looked at the clip in the locker room. There was time off the clock, and he didn't step in bounds. Um, I thought it was ridiculous. I would have loved would have the way we fought back. I would have loved a chance, loved to actually have a chance. Would have been good. And where did that fight to come back and rally back from that side of, especially the first quarter, that rough start to the game? Where did that come from? Was something said in the locker room at halftime? Um, we knew that 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 first half wasn't us. Obviously, it's been a it's been a hell of a day. Um, that first half wasn't us, and you know we're not. I, I don't mean to sit here and make excuses, but. Um, wasn't us, and we came out the second half. Obviously, uh, you know, hope nothing's hope nothing's wrong with Luca. You know, hope he's all right. But you know, uh, you know, having him out, having him out in the second half helped just a little bit. It would. Oh. Um, having Bi in the fourth quarter, having him get back to himself, seem to find that rhythm that's eluded him. Um, what was that like for you? It was great. It was great. That's that's B. You know, that's the guy we all know and love. That's our closer. Um, you know, it's. He was out for two months. You know, for anybody that expected him to step on the court and be an all-star again immediately was doesn't understand basketball. Um, so it's good to get him these reps, end of games, and and all this, you know, and all this now because you know he's getting his rhythm back, and you know he's starting to look like the guy that the guy that's front and center of everything we do. To be able to come back, just how much does it hurt that that's the way that this ended tonight? Um, the players. Should have decided the game, and they didn't. Um, we, Brandon, got the steal, got the deflection. CJ recovered it, and there was, I believe, it was 4.9 seconds sec uh, seconds left on the clock when it happened. So there were two wrong, two wrongs done. The, the clock was wrong, and the call was wrong. I just, I don't, I don't know the rule book, but I don't know why we didn't at least review it. Did they? Ah. I just hope we get the same calls at home. That'd be lovely. Um, you mentioned a bit of hell today. Mm -hmm. How much does that landing, I mean, are you fighting on back backs in the second moment, or how much does landing at that time kind of throw your day off or your routine off as a, as a player? Oh, it's, you don't get a, a day like today, you don't get a routine. Um, you know, we're creatures of habit, right? Like, you know, this is my eighth year. I've been doing the same, whether I'm at home or away, I do the same thing every single game day to prepare for the game. And, um, you know, a day like today where you fly in and you got to eat, you know, eat, eat what's on the plane, then go to the hotel and see if you can scramble a little, some some semblance of rest before the game is not ideal, again. Um, but with all that being said, it was a three-point game with 4.9 seconds left, and we should have had the ball. Yeah, I mean, when you're a team facing a long losing streak, you're kind of desperate just to get a win on the board, and you find yourself down by that much in the first half, just kind of how draining is that as a team? No, it hurt. It did. Um, yeah. They were hitting shots, man. Um, you know. Luca was knocking down everything, and he's a matchup nightmare. Um, you know, their shooters were shooting; they were they were clicking on offense, and there was it's, it felt like there wasn't a whole lot we could do to slow them down. But um, again, we we came out aggressive, hit first in the second half, and and um, again, it was a three point shoot. It was a three point game with four point nine seconds left, and we should have had the ball. Obviously, Luca being able to play a big part in the second half, but what did you think you guys did to kind of turn around and make it a game? Um, we we hit first. We were the aggressors, you know, on both offense and defense. Um, you know, we uh, in the first half we kind of let we kind of tried to react to their what they were running on offense. Where in the second half we, I felt like we dictated a little bit more where they were going to go, um, uh, rather than just let them come to us. Offensively, we were great pace into things and and getting the shots. You know, like you said, Brandon. Brandon made some Brandon shots, and the guys were getting downhill, creating turnovers. And I think we had, what did we end up with? 17 turnovers total. We only have four in the second half, so that's a major part of our offensive woes have been turnovers. So when we eliminate that, we're really good. And you know, uh, most of these losses start piling up. As one of the leaders, how much do you have to 
be conscious of, you know, to fight back against negativity or finger pointing or guys slumping shoulders during the game? How much do you have to kind of pay attention to that? Uh, like yeah, you got to pay attention to it. You know, it's, 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 I don't want to say it's natural, but, you know, it's, lose, nobody likes to lose. You know, you don't get to this point without, without hating to lose and, and, you know, there's natural to be frustrations and natural for heads to drop. But again, it's, you know, myself, CJ, Garrett, Jonas, um, you know, the, 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 the vets, you know, have done a pretty good job of keeping the group motivated and keeping the group, um, you know, onto the next, onto the next task. They're, they're one thing you're not going to get from this group is finger pointing. Um, no one's done it. No one will do it. That's, uh, you know, this is a group. This is a group thing, and this is a group that's going to stick together, regardless of a 10-game losing streak. Thanks, sir.